I was raised and done most of my hunting business and field trials in Georgia, Leesburg, Georgia, around Albany, Georgia. That's where I trained, did a lot of training, where all them quail are. Got started in uh, driving a dog wagon in Canada uh, at about uh, 1946. Old uh, Sid and, and uh, Tuck, they were a pair of mules. Sid and Tuck, good mules, Canadian mules. That's where we carried a dog wagon full of dogs out on the prairie and work them, put them back in the wagon and take others out of the wagon and work them. And it was just a daily thing. And my mother, of course, she was up there too, and she would fix me a ride of cow buttermilk. A quarter of buttermilk every morning before I got on that dog wagon. I had buttermilk and side meat and some real good ham. And when I was on the, doing the dog wagon, I did it for 10, 12 years. I would have to work some of the dogs. A lot of times with a dog wagon, I'd flush a couple of birds up there. My daddy told me, he said, watch where they go, son. Get a dog out of that wagon, put a rope on him, and go out there and show him the birds. So I was working some dogs, actually, when I was just, just a little kid. I do it because, well, one thing, I grew, grew up in it. When my, my, my dad was in it first. But my passion for it, I just love dogs. And uh, just, uh, it was just a thing that I, I wanted to do. We used to carry around 100 to Manitoba for three months every summer. But I had uh, about five men that worked for me, trainers. They call them scouts. Big word for it is trainers. A scout had to be a trainer. Well, I got started off with the with the bird dog, with the English pointers, down in Leesburg, Georgia, because that's where I'm from. And uh, I had a cousin that was working with, with John Rex and Captain John at that time. He and I was running birdies. I used to go up on weekend, help him out with the dogs on weekend. And I don't know, for some reason, Captain seen something within me. And he told John Rex, you better hide that boy. And that's the way I started. I started that in May, and in June, I was in Canada driving a dog wagon. Probably 69, something, somewhere in, in that area. At that time, I didn't know nothing about dogs. All I know is that they were just a dog. But in Canada, driving a dog wagon, watching them ride horses, and just watching those dogs just take on the country and the terrain, I got hooked. And once I got hooked, I said, that's what I want to do. And that's what I started doing. Well, the next summer, I was on the horse training dogs. And that's where I started. And then we've been hooked ever since. Just watching those dogs, the way they would go through the country, and a dog get way out as first I can see, then they could call them dogs and they would come back, the way those dogs handled the country. And I just, that just overwhelmed me, and I've been liking it ever since. And, but the morning time, we worked the running dogs, Afternoon, we worked meat dogs around Burry Field. And so I just like the way those dogs just run, you know, and they can throw that nose up and just track that game. They worked the dogs just like I did. We were trained, but we had scouts that would help us, like in the field trials and that type of thing. Of course, you normally your scout is is as good a trainer as a, as a man that has a business. That training is his profession, 
Norman Scout, it has to be his too to really, really, you know, do a good job and love it. You got to love it. David joins just one other scout in the Hall of Fame. This speaks volumes on his impact on the sport and the impression he has left on the people within it. Regardless of who I've spoken to over my time in this role, whenever his name is mentioned, it always comes with some utterance of the phrase, he is a very good man. I'd like to recognize David Johnson. You know, when I first started, Fuller Dogs never thought of anything like this. But today, was just special to me, you know. And it was a good feeling to know during life that I have accomplished something. And this was a great honor. And thing that really taught my heart is all the years I've been doing this, to be classed as a gentleman. Just that itself says a lot. And at the end of the ceremony, to get a standing ovation. Woo! What a joy, what a joy, a good feeling.